College Football 25 has over 144 offensive playbooks to choose from. And in today's video, I went through each and every one of them to try to find and narrow it down to the very best offensive and defensive playbooks for you guys to use when you pick up EA Sports College Football 25. So if you guys want to see what are the best playbooks to use in this game, stick around after the intro. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Now I'm going to start off on defense because there's way less to go through here and in my opinion there's really only two out of these eight that are truly elite. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber to like button in the comment section as I plan on doing videos like this throughout the year. And if you have a favorite offensive or defensive playbook that you think is better than the ones that I recommended, please let me and everyone else know in the comment section. Other than that, going to get right into the video. The number one defensive playbook for my money is the 326. This is going to be the first ebook that I put out. I already recorded all the footage for it i just have to edit it and you know put it together in a nice book for you guys uh, and this will be the first ebook that i put out and i'll show you guys why number one it has just to me the most unique formations that are actually usable starting at the top here we have the nickel 3-3 odd which is just as good as it was in madden last year it was a defense that won uh, the madden challenge championship for henry it's still very good it doesn't quite get the same amount of pressure they did patch some of the blitzes but a lot of the same concepts still work making this one of the more usable defenses the nickel 3-3 double mug is also also a very good defense and I'm going to spoil alert for you guys right now I found a a gap blitz that is absolutely broken in this formation that you can do from just about every single play in the entire formation making this one of the better blitzing formations to use if it's an absolutely disgusting a gap blitz I will have it for you guys soon next up we have the nickel 3-3 roll which is basically just like your nickel over your regular nickel defense but that's solid you know it still has a lot of use you have the dollar 3-2 which is still one of the metas you still got the DB fire too stuff like that spinner blitz all that stuff is still gonna be very effective you got the sugar Sugar, which is okay, it's a similar version of the 3-2, except the linebackers are actually in the box. So it's definitely usable. And then the Dime Rush, which is already a defense that I already made a video about. I plan on making more videos about. It's, to me, one of the better uh, defenses to use in the game as well. And then you have the 3-4 odd, last but not least. Still one of the better big defenses to use uh, for people that like to play under center. But if you go back through, that's just about every single formation I, I mentioned has a use. There's no wasted formations in this entire playbook. And the only playbook that's going to ever make me think about even leaving the 3-2-6 is going to be the 4-2-5, as this playbook here is the only playbook that has the big nickel over G and a new formation called the Big Nickel Under, which I'm sure will be just as glitchy as the Big Nickel Over G is probably my favorite base defense. I already have a gameplay video planned for this defense as I already uh, did have a lot of success using this online. Uh, it also has the 3-3 Odd, which I mentioned in the last playbook. The Nickel Over, which is basically the same thing as the Nickel 3-3 Will, I think was what it was called in the other playbook. So a lot of things that are shared. The Double Mug, once again. The 4-4 Split is probably a slightly better large run defense than the 3-4 Odd, but it's not as good when it comes to passing blitzes and concepts like that you have the dime rush which once again was in the other playbook and that's about it so the only reason that i would choose this defense over the other defense is if i want to use the big nickel over g which in my opinion is still one of the meta defenses in the game uh, but like i said it shares a lot of the best defenses from both playbooks for offense we're going to start off with what i think is probably the best trick play offense and maybe the best running offense in the entire game in air force the flex bone formation has so much unique concepts when it comes to run plays they have inverted veers triple options midline triple uh counter option <laughs> there's so much stuff going on here uh quarterback runs rocket tosses basically everything behind the line of scrimmage is a running back that's capable of running the ball and that also includes navy who has a pretty similar selection when it comes to the flex bone offense now if you really want to run a lot of trick plays you can always go with the option offense as it has the flex bone all the plays that i showed you guys in air force it has the wishbone it has the I form, all the option plays you would see in an I form. The pistol, a lot of uh, option plays here. I already said out of the full house is one of my favorite ton of option plays there. All of them all in one place, including some that are also found in shotgun plays. Now, EA went as far as to say that the reason that you can't use other team playbooks in head-to-head -head is so that the best teams can't use the best playbooks, which means the worst teams typically have the best playbooks. I'm to that point because Colorado State probably has one of the best, if not the best playbook in the entire game. Starting off with the shotgun formation, the normal wild off close, if you follow this channel for the last two years, you know I love this formation. Things like the Y sail, uh, the mesh spot. This is one of my most used formations, the escape play, the double slant. They're all here, plus a lot of new RPOs and run plays. One of my favorite formations, we can jump right over to the slot right. The slot right looks very unique with a lot of really good RPO and running concepts as well. Although I haven't spent as much time as that in that as I do have some of these other formations like the tight slots once again. As I said, you want 
to uh, manipulate coverages. You need tight, condensed offensive packages so that you can create space after the play starts. And the tight slot's going to be great for that. They get 18 plays there. They have, for the two formations that I mentioned so far, 18 plays in the normal wild close, 18 plays in the tight slots. Those are two of the best plays here. But they also have some really good spread formations. I like spread formations. If you know how to use them, you got two back-to-back. -back, I'm sorry, three back-to-back. -back, and you look at the play count, 21, 21, 18, tons of plays. Oh, yeah, by the way, they have four straight tray formations, trip formations, the tray wide flex, which is always popular, the tray wide flex strong, the tray open, the tray open offset, all these three receivers to one side, very easy to create and manipulate coverages when you have three receivers to one side. And they also have one of the better uh, empty packages in the empty bunch open and the empty base and empty trio also giving you three empty formations. And like I said, they have three other uh, offensive formations as well with the pistol, a lot of one play touchdowns here for you can create from the PA cross. You can run the PA cross as an entire offense in one play. The PA post shots won't play touchdown against just, just about everything. If I go over to the wild trips, the PA double poses won't play touchdown against just about everything. And the trips open once again. Another trips formation. This is the fifth trips formation in this playbook. And there's so many one play touchdowns and explosive plays to be had in this particular play. And we didn't even finish yet. They got the iPhone Pro. Uh, you got to run some stretch runs. They have the single back. You can run some stretch runs from that. And also some pretty decent passing concepts. And this is one of the most diverse playbooks in the entire game. And like I said, my opinion might be the best. Next up, we got Washington State. Uh, which only has one formation in the gun formation, but they're the reigning champs as they have 21 sub package gun formations in the form in the entire uh, playbook, which is the most. I thought 20 was the most, but it looks like 21 is the most. So they have a lot of good formations too. The wing slot offset is something I put a lot of time into last year, so that's probably one of my favorites. They have a ton of trio formations, starting with the trips TE, going over to the trio, the trio unbalanced, the trips Y over. That's four straight trips formations. They got more in the future over here uh, but they also have a lot of tight formations too things like the double stack uh, the normal flex snug which is a new formation has a lot of tight looks and they have some bunch formations in the bunch open offset which is probably one of the better ones in the game and then more trips formations they, with the actual trips the trips half back week and that gives them a total of six trips formations by the way and they have three empty formations one of which is a bunch in the empty bunch open the empty base and the empty quads which I've gone over quite a bit uh, some of the better empty formations in the game Next up, we got another school that most people don't even know exists in UAB. And they have a lot of really good formations here, starting off with Shotgun. The tight way off, once again, I've mentioned that quite a bit. One of my more favorites. They have a lot of trips tight ends. I'm sorry, trips uh, formations with the trips TE and uh, the trips halfback uh, week. They got some bunch formations in the bunch wide and the empty bunch wide to go along with the empty tray stack, which is probably two of the best empty formations in the game to run. Uh, but that's not where it all ends. At the end, they also have a lot of really good formations in pistol, more specifically tight formations like the deuce close, uh, the tight Y off flex, and the tight slots. All three tight formations. Like I said, tight formations are very important when it comes to creating one play touchdowns. And there's a lot of really good run plays to be found in pistol formations as well, as you can you know, have a lot of inside handoff and outside handoff for plays like stretch runs and stuff like that. So a very diverse set with only really two formations in gun and pistol but a lot of very usable formations inside of them. Next up, we have one of the few big schools that has a really good playbook, and Florida State is one of them, as they once again have a lot of diversity, a lot of very good offensive uh, formations. We'll start off all the way at the end here. The wing tight, I don't like running stuff with so many tight ends, but the PA double post is a really good play, and there's a lot of good concepts here. Uh, the deuce close, once again, a really good port over for Madden. One of my more favorite uh, concepts is the deuce close. Once, yeah, anytime you have tight, compact offensive formations, you're going to have a lot of success with those. Uh, the normal off close week is a pretty decent formation, but I'm not going to go over that. You have a lot of trips formations, once again. Trips formations are going to be key to get you on this list, as we have the Y off trips, the Y trips week, the Y off trips week, the bunch open tight end. Well, that's not a trips, obviously, but once again, a bunch formation. And then you also have the trips, once again, the, the trio four wide receivers strong, which is a trips uh, formation. So tons of trips formations, uh, which are always very good. And they also have a trips formation in the uh, the pistol formation, once again, which is something I've gone over quite a bit, the Y off trips. So another good formation I went over previously in a different offensive um personnel package was the doubles Y off close uh, the PA cross is a very good play uh, the P, the, even the jet cross is a very good place a lot of really good passing concepts in the pistol formations and they also have a single back so if you like to just go under center and pound the rock 
run a lot of stretch runs. You have the single back deuce close, which is a very good passing formation, but it's also a very good running formation. Next up, we got another elite team in the Oregon Ducks that have an elite playbook. Starting off in the gun formation, they have uh, some good split back sets with the split slot open. Uh, the normal wide off close makes another appearance. Uh, this is one of my favorite offensive formations, so every time it's available, it definitely is a plus. Uh, they have a lot of trips formations, once again. Trips TE, Trio Y Flex. That's probably one of the biggest things this playbook has. Also, a lot of bunch formations. Bunch strong offset, bunch open offset, uh, bunch quads offset, the double stack, more trips. This is probably f at least four trips formations in this particular gun set alone. And then you also have two really good open or empty backfield looks with the gun um empty bunch wide, uh, another bunch set. So what is that, like three or four bunch sets? That's an easy way to look at this list. Uh, they also have a trips in the pistol formation and you have an option to run under center with the I form as well as a wildcat, which has six plays. So a lot of diversity in this playbook, making it one of the best playbooks in the game. And it's also loaded with bunch and trio trip sets. Now I was under the impression based off of what EA said that the best teams didn't have the best playbooks until I came across Georgia's playbook, which is obviously maybe the number one or number two team. And they also have one of the best playbooks in the game. Now they have a ton of unique uh, you know, motion style offensive plays, which I'm not even really going to get into because the real strength of this uh, playbook is when you start getting to the trips formations. You got four, three or four trips formations and three or four bunch formations, which is super unique. You got the, the Y off trips, the trips T offset week. Then you get to the cluster, which is essentially just a trips formation. It's this fancy uh, terminology for that, but it's basically a trips, you, or not the trips, I'm sorry, a bunch formation. Then you got the bunch itself, uh, which is one of the most overpowered formations every single year. You have the bunch Y flex, which has been uh, kind of like an upgrade over the bunch over the last couple years in Madden. So you got three back to back to back bunch formations. Oh, and then you get back to a bunch of trips formations once again, because you have you finish off the playbook with that, with the tray open halfback strong and the tray open offset. So three or four trips and bunch formations can be found in the gun uh, formation set alone oh but they also have single back never mind the fact they got the deuce close which once again you can just line up under here and just pound the rock all day with the halfback stretch they also got the bunch ace which is another bunch formation only this time under center uh, with 18 plays a lot of really good plays there and this is just you know and then we have another trips formation obviously but at the end of the day this is just loaded with bunch and trips formations and it also has some really good running formations for under center so I'm gonna end the video there if you guys learned anything from this video please make sure to be subscribed hit like button let me know in the comment section if you want to learn more about this game I'm going to have a video popping up that I recently made about what I consider to be the number one defense in the game right now. So just click links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I should out.